Wait one second, making sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Junk Paradise Golden Age, episode 538, I think. Sorry, I need to take a drink before we begin. Uh. Okay, but hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. It's been a little while since I last recorded, so I need to adjust into recording now. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. So, last episode, we were working on improving, well, building a new build project and then I got distracted and ended up doing all of this here, just, you know, taking down a lot of this area and then rebuilding it. And that's a little lovely garden. Okay, I might as well add a little bit of uh, that there. Okay. So, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing building this tunnel that will take us a short while to do. Uh, let's see. Break that. Break all of that. I'll just break that with my pickaxe. Okay, I think this is the normal height to go with, right? Is that the normal height to go with? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And while I'm here, I might as well do something else while I'm here. But hopefully you've been doing okay today in CNC. I didn't record yesterday because I was not feeling good and also I got back from a long road trip so I was quite, you know, tired so I was unable to record yesterday. But I am back the now and I want to record some more Jungle Paradise for you. Uh, let's see. I was thinking of uh, doing a couple of new builds recently, but what do you call it? I think, you know, taking our mind off of this build, you know, will not be very good because I've just been thinking about this one build for a while. No, so where did that torch go? There it is. And now I've been trying to figure out how this build is going to go. I've actually been working on the idea. And how it's going to be shaped and all that. Uh, let's see. And I quite enjoy what I have created for this little area. What it's going to be created to. I think we might also have a sheep farm down this way. I was to, was to make a sheep farm here. But then I decided, you know, I'll just drag that out a bit and, you know, make it somewhere else. In this new tunnel. Uh, let's see. That's annoying me that that's not in the right position. And go like that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And just go like that. Okay. So I want to fill up that area with uh, glowstone in the future. It, I think that's the only bit around here that's really has... Uh, the only bit that has, you know, stone, brick and steel in the area around here. Instead of just on the floor. Poop. I needed the... Now that I think about it, I really needed that... Uh, stone for the stairs up here and uh, let's see so how's the stair going to go i think it's going to go like that right and this would be the bit that already comes down one block yep so that's how this is going to go right right yeah okay so one two how far does that go along? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I need to mine six along from where I'm currently at. And this staircase goes down three blocks and then three blocks again. You know, I'm copying the stairs that I did over here, but I really like the stairs that I did over there. And we may also need to go and mine some, uh, what do you call it? We might need to go mine some oak wood as well. So we have uh, wood for the stairs coming up. Uh, let's see. And we might as well have a question of the day. Hmm. Let me try and think of a question of the day. Okay. Question of the day. What's your favourite kind of tree? Well, there's certain trees, you know, that are pretty cool. I don't know if it's the right tree that I'm thinking of. There's a tree called the red maple tree, it's in America. 
and it produces, I think this is the one that produces the largest acorns, but it's acorn you could put in your hand and it would fill up your hand. It's that big, that acorn. Uh, let's see. And it's weird to think that, you know, ginormous acorns are out there in the world. And you have the regular acorns that are super tiny in our world area. Uh, okay. Well, break all of this over here. I'm also uh, creating the ceiling bit that's supposed to go down here. I wanted it more dragged out. And I also might need to make it go up a little bit more. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, let's see, what else could we talk about while I'm doing this build project? Hmm. Hmm. Let me try and think. Try to think of something interesting that, that we can talk about. Also, my leg is a little bit itchy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow, it's certainly built. Just mined the wall there. Not built the wall. There we go. Eh. Uh, so I know that this is going to be... Well, actually, I don't need rose gold. Yeah, you know, I have so many rose gold ore around my base that I don't actually use them because I hate rose gold ore. Can't stand this thing. Also, I was going to use some TNT. That's why I have TNT on me. But I have not actually used that. And I will put my shears back to where they belong. You okay, Daryl? Yeah, okay. Now, Balde keeps the zombies away. That's quite right. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find. Are you full? No. Okay. Shove some of that in there. I'll use the chest I used over here for. What's this bolt called? The Watery Caves project. Finished the 10th of October 2022. Uh, Glad to say I really enjoyed building this one. I wish it, you know, spread the green a little bit more, right? But even with the green, you know, spreading to a certain point, it is quite nice. I don't really have any grass blocks on me, so I can't spread the green there now, but I quite enjoy this build project. Even though this roof needs to be expanded soon. I think that's what I'll do soon. I might expand that roof a few blocks more outwards, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Plus, I was also supposed to put stairs here, but never got around to doing so. Uh, let's see. I may also add a bunch of flowers down here, like lilacs and sunflowers. Feel like it to be appropriate to this area. Uh, let's see. Okay. We'll place that there, right? Had to be stairs, had to be stairs, had to be stairs. Had to three blocks. Four for stairs, and then had to be slat for a little bit. I think it'd be three blocks that to be slat for. Yeah, three blocks that to be slat for. One, two, and then outwards. Well, actually, that's two blocks. It would go down one more here. Yeah. I was wondering why it looked a little bit awkward. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to use the... Uh, I'm supposed to use oak wood on the other side, not... You know what, I'll switch out once we get oak wood, okay? I think that's what I'll do. Switch it out once we have oak wood. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Yeah, that should work. Now, it's supposed to be slat for one, two. That'd be where the stairs is, and then it'd be stairs one block that way, yeah. Yeah, that works. It's just the ceiling that I'm worried about. Uh, let's see. I can bring that out by two blocks. Yeah, this ceiling I'm going to have to put a lot of uh, stones into to, you know, fix it up and make it look a little bit nicer. 
Uh, let's see. I could actually break some of it though now if I wanted to. block I was supposed to break there. Yeah, is that how it's supposed to go? I think so. Okay, well just keep that like that and I'll uh, put some bushes up there and you know bush the corner a little bit and have it come down a little bit. Hmm. That wasn't too bad there. About that bit there, yeah. That's not too bad. Put like a big plaque up there. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure I started coming up with a name for this tunnel. So, the name that I had for this tunnel area, and I might actually just make it more open, the entrance, right? I like the entrance, but I feel like it's a bit too cramped now. That it does not actually work very well. Throw that there. Why do I have some spruce fence? Ah. From this build here. There we go. That fits. There's always a purpose for one block, even if it may be small. Uh, let's see. Something like that, maybe? And then, like that. And. Hmm. That does mean I could bring this back a little. Almost fell. Could bring this back a little. Have stone bricks coming in here. Well, that's actually a pretty good idea because I could actually preserve the idea of being able to go down into the ravine down below. Would work. If I wanted to go back down there. I don't actually know what I'm going to use that ravine that's just under us right now. Uh, I might come up with a use for it in the future. Either that I'll just chisel out the bottom of it and then do a build down there one day. Uh, let's see. So three blocks this way. And then downwards it goes. Yes. Actually, would it be too better to have... No, because that's where the stairs is going to be. Hmm. Three block stairs. One, two, three. That'll all be dirt right here. And that'll be where you go down, yes. Just making sure my, uh, what do you call it, idea of how this is going to be built is going to work. once again, break that once again, head up here, yeah that should work, that's not looking too bad actually, not looking too bad at all, and now to continue our way down, so it goes that far, about almost three blocks. There we go, that's three blocks. That'd be the this would be the bottom floor. Or the bo bottom of the area that we're working on. Okay, I need to go empty my inventory. I knew there was one block I was missing. Uh, let's see. This one probably has a lot more uh I guess the logs aren't really necessary unless I didn't really use the logs in this one. Yeah, I didn't use the logs in this one. I used the logs at the start. I think I was going to place like a log there and a log there. Hmm. But maybe I should just keep it plain, right? Keep it back to the original way that it looks. Should work. Now, so put the iron in the backpack. It's always good to collect up my iron dew. With all these builds, I get so much of it. Uh, let's 
see. There we go. You know, I've gotten a lot of uh, iron from all of these build projects. And I do feel like, you know, with all of these build projects that we've done, uh, that one day we'll have like a lot of iron that I can make a full iron beacon. I've never actually made a full iron beacon before. So I'll look forward to the day that we actually get to make a full iron beacon for the series. Uh, to help a lot with my build projects. Apart from having to mine out the area for it. Uh, let's see. You know what? That's the one thing I've never done. Used a beacon to mine out an area in ages. Because the last time I actually used a beacon to try and mine out a little bit faster was our Mass Halden. Because Mass Halden, also known as Village 1, it took me a second to drag across the entire screen. I have noticed there's a little bit of glitching when you're moving the map. There's just that little slight, you know, crumpling effect. I think that's how you would describe it. Uh, let's see. But this is uh, Mass Halden. It used to be a village, and you can actually start to see a little bit of the outprint of the village. These are actually, these three houses here used to be, you know, intact, but two of them only have walls, and I rebuilt this one into a more upgraded version, because I was going to move villagers into it. But sadly, there is no villagers left. No Elvis Presley villager, villagers, or archaeology villagers, or even... Minecraft Comes Alive villagers aren't here. Minecraft Comes Alive people are up here. They have... A lot of them have died. Sadly, uh, one of them, uh... Pearly, I think it was. Lost her wife in, uh... I think lava? Or a zombie came and killed her. So that was quite sad. Uh, let's see. So there's a lot of, you know, stuff about this series and you know, a lot of history. Uh... I still remember the first time that we went to Mass Halden and all that. I think... How, how did I know that there was a desert down there? I think it... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw like a little spot here of desert. I think that's how I found Mass Halden or this area. A little spot of desert. Or maybe that was, an, that was another series because that was down this way. It would have been in another series, yeah. I think I just teleported over to there and then I spawned in somewhere up here and then I found this village and then I continued to walk it. You know, I got to this area. And I think the most farthest we ever went was all the way over here. And you can actually see a desert temple over here, I think it is. And that's where I got my first elephant. It took me forever walking up and down the coastline to find enough sugar cane to turn into sugar cubes to actually tame it. Uh that's some fond memories that I like to go back to. Okay. Did my hammer break? Yeah, my hammer did break. I was talking so long that I didn't even notice my hammer had broke. Okay, let's go rebuild that hammer and also I need to eat some big potatoes. Yeah, okay, today, Daryl. It's always good to have like a land in hand. You wanna joke? You wanna chat? Yes, I suppose, uh, shake your hand. Good day. Yes, it is a good day. Now, so how can you see the weather from down here? You just feel it in your bones. You feel it in your knees. Uh. Okay. Well, let's go make a few more sticks so we can make some more of these. That'd be nine. Right. And that's another... Yeah, 18 would be... There we go. Just just dump all of this uh, stone pickaxes in one spot and I slowly just uh, use them for making this pickaxe. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do there. That's one pickaxe. And the last two pickaxes there. There we go. That is two hammers right there. And we can use them for this build. Now, so I'll break the two corner blocks there. And just drag the lights here. 
Not too bad, actually. Need a little bit of fixing up there. Hmm. Should I just make it so it connects all the way along? Like, you know, the tunnel does. I just wanted to keep it separated, right? Or maybe it's not best to keep it separated. Maybe I should just keep it the way it is and just turn it into, like, one long tunnel. You know, how the series is going to have, like, you know, the series is going to have 1,000 episodes in it, right? I wonder how much, uh, tunnels by the end of that series. Like, I, I want to load up my world in a new, uh, what do you call it? One of the newer updates, just so I could go into Spectator and sly around and see how many tunnels we dug. Because, you know, throughout this entire series, right, I have dug many tunnels because this is the Lush Caves build. And the Lush Caves drag out for basically in a big circle. They keep going outwards and outwards and outwards and outwards. They don't go out that far, I don't think so. This is like the barrier, like a big square. That they don't go out that far. Apart from this one, this is the southeastern Lush Caves down here that stretch inwards. And it, it's only uh, Lush Caves that actually hold the area down this area. Because everything went in this direction and not in this direction outwards. It also still looks like a big turtle. Or a woman walking with their hand out or something. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Jar Jar Binks for some reason. Don't know why. Just reminds me of that. Now I hear the voice. <laughs> uh. Okay, what did I use for the side bits? Did I use any stairs? No, I think I just kept it to blocks. Okay. Well, let's go and do what we did over here. And that is the end of this build. I'm pretty sure I just uh, went a little bit further, I think about four blocks that way. It was like the max range I did for this. Uh, let's see. And that is how far the water will go. That way. Up oh, poop. I gave my room, I gave this a bit too much room. Uh, there we go. And just add a little bit on that side. There we go. Not looking too bad, actually. Not looking too bad at all. Now, for when we drop water in here. Sorry about that. Okay, so for when we drop water in here, right? You know, so do apologize for making, you know, the sound there. There was a fly and I had to quickly swat it with my hand. Ah, eight slides. Need to go wash my hands after this. Uh, you know, I would definitely say one of my most hated creatures on earth is probably the fly. Even though it is good for the environment, you know, it decomposes stuff, you know, all of that. Gets rid of stuff like mushrooms. I would definitely say I hate flies with like an undying passion. Hate them so much. Uh, let's see. No, so. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Why is this in desert? Who cares? I'll just teleport up to our mining area up north. Right? There we go. And cut down some trees around here. And also, if you're wondering why this area is no longer green, if you've not been here for a little while, this area used to be a plains biome, but it has sadly turned into a oak savanna. Yeah, it's an oak savanna. I don't even need to look at it there. I pulled it up, you know, just to double check. And yes, I did get it right. Uh, oak savanna, it's turned into. And that is due to the... What do you call it? 
Does there used to be a modded area and then I removed that mod and I think because I've removed that mod it's somehow taken this uh, the what do you call it the biome that uh, oak savannah comes from is the twilight forest so this should not even be here eh, this is not your regular you know thing that should be here like I'm surprised there's no uh, twilight you know creatures spawn in here but we're not in the twilight forest the probably checks if you're in or outside the twilight forest to spawn certain mobs eh, we'll see but they don't do that for minecraft more creatures I see them spawning all the time in the what do you call it the twilight forest yeah I actually do want to go back to the twilight forest we still have a boss to defeat and that is the one in the uh, what do you call it Ice fortress thing, ice fortress, whatever you call it, mountain fortress, past the toxic clouds. That's what we need to go fight. Problem is, I can't actually fight it because I can't get into there because for some reason it won't let me pass the poison clouds. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get past the poison clouds. I'll ask Barry, you know, but then I don't know. Like if, I feel like the game's kind of broken in a certain way. I don't know how it happened, but yeah. I don't know why it won't let me into the toxic cloud area. I don't know if I need something. Maybe I need to mine underground or something. Nah, I've tried that already. Hmm. This probably sounds very weird to all of you who have not actually uh, played the Twilight Forest before. But I've been playing through the Twilight Forest. I defeated... The last boss that I defeated was the Uragast, and that was a terrible boss fight, and I mean a terrible boss fight. Like I, I went in there and brought arrows, and arrows weren't even needed, because all you needed to do was just stop it from a, uh, what do you call it, healing by gathering up its babies, but the babies would spawn. But you wouldn't even get the lightning strike sometimes, so it would just they would just spawn and then they would instantly go up to the gas without even you know. Sorry about that. Without even you know alerting you that they're there. So I had to quickly run around, and that's how I uh, got all of the gas and finally killed the Uragast. My worst boss fight, I would definitely say. I'll see. Yo. With learning all of the new stuff about the Twilight Forest, because I used to play 1.7.10 Twilight Forest, right? That's before they added all of the, oh, you can't do that until you face this boss and all that. Uh, let's see, I remember when it used to be a lot more freedom in the Twilight Forest. But yeah, it does stop you know, people from getting overpowered weapons you know, later on. But there's not even that overpowered weapons in Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest weapons suck compared to, you know, what other mods, Azer, Azer weapons are quite good. You know what, I actually do want to get the Azer again, right? And this time we'll, you know, do the Azer right. That's what I want to do, I want to get the Azer again. Eh, uh, let's see. Just really depends on what Azer we're getting. I want to get the old Azer because the old Azer is the one that I love, right? But the second Azer is the trash Azer. Because the first Azer had so much freedom and it was basically like an overworld, but, you know. Uh, what's a series that I used to watch? What, Barry? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take you back to, uh, like, is it 2015, 2014, 2016? Somewhere around that time. I used to watch the series with Barry, and it was by I Quick Quick. I has Quick Quick. I cannot actually say the name, I've been unable to say the name properly for ages. For years. Uh, and it was Cloud Nine, yeah, that was a great series. Me and Barry used to watch it all the time. If there was a new episode, we would watch it. I loved that series, that was a good series. Uh, let's see. But that. That series used to have, uh, what do you call it, the Twilight Forest in it. Well, not the Twilight Forest. Yeah, it had the Twilight Forest in it. But also had uh, the Azer. 
And I've, I've got to say, that's probably one of the series that made me like the Aether. Ah, uh, let's see. Not many series can make you like, you know, a certain mod. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, let's break down this tree. There we go, not too bad. But I've got to say, you know, the Twilight Forest and the Aether. I would definitely pick the Aether over the Twilight Forest, but if it was the old Twilight Forest, I'd pick the old Twilight Forest over the Aether. Uh, let's see. Because, here's the thing. Old Twilight Forest, absolutely fun. Great game. The second newer one that I'm currently playing in 1.12.2, I would say is, you know, it's fun, but it's more like a challenge. Eh, and then, you know, what it was back in the day. But, you know, that could be fun, because I, I, I still had, you know, fun fighting the bosses, right? And then there's the Twilight, well, not Twilight Forest, the Azer. The first Azer is actually great, it's the best Azer. And if they continued to build off of that, you know, it would have been a great mod. But the second Azer that they released has like story and all of that. You can't go face bosses like you used to. And that's probably what uh, really uh, made the Azer trash was that, you know, second Azer. Like the Azer had so much potential and then it just, you know, got slushed down the drain. There we go. Ah. <sighs> So it is quite sad to see, you know, a mod that you really like just get slushed down the drain. Uh, let's see. Like, I remember uh, the first time uh, playing Twilight Forest. And, you know, compared to, you know, all the fun that I had in Aether, I quite enjoyed both of them back in the day. But the newer versions, I feel like, you know, the devs have not really you know, paid attention to what was fun and just upgraded it in a weird way. Uh, let's see. But this is just me rambling on. Uh, let's see. Just to keep you entertained while I was, you know, cutting wood. Okay. Well, let's continue on with this build project. We still have a lot to do. And that is clearing out all of the side bit. And replacing it with wood. There we go. I didn't expect to use up all of my wood there. At least I got a little bit of a, you know, wood, oak wood supply. There we go. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. There we go. That should work. That should work out very good. Okay. For the ceiling now, right? That, yes, that is what I'm going for right here. How big is the ceiling supposed to be? Four blocks? Okay. Break all of that. That is unnecessary. Yep, that is what the height is supposed to be. And then I'll just chisel out that bit there. Kind of make it look like, you know, a throat or something. Eh? There we go. If you don't know what I mean by a throat, the throat is quite a weird thing, right? And it has all of the little, you know, things that go up and down. That's what I meant by throat. Just so you know. Uh, let's see. I don't pick the best stuff to, you know, give you an example. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll shove that in there. I'm gonna need another chest. I'll probably just make one down here. Yeah, that's not looking too bad, actually. And actually... Why not copy what we did over here? There's two blocks on the second level. Let's go check if we can do that. 
Okay, two blocks on the second level. Hmm. Go like that. Torch. And then break all of that. Yeah, that works. Okay. Let's gather up all of this random blocks here. So it does not despawn. There we go. You okay, Daryl? Okay. Light up that wall there. And then... Make it go roundish. Ah. Break that. Right. Make it go like that. So block there and a block there. Should work. Okay. Make a crafting table, right? I'll just hide it in this little hole over here. Okay. So, I want to copy what we did down there, right? I was actually supposed to do it all the way around here, but I never actually got around to doing so. So, you know, I'm going to be a bit cheeky here and uh, do the stuff that I was supposed to do a while ago. There we go. I do see some problems here. That is in words, yeah, the entrance, right? But this entrance over here, this is not supposed to be here. That's a messed up block. It's supposed to be... Wait, what? What? It's supposed to be on the other side of the... I'm getting confused here. I don't know what's happening. What is went wrong here? Because that's on that side. Right, that's on that side. I thought one of these were off. Maybe it's, it's this entrance that's throwing me off, right? Maybe because it's supposed to be more open on that side. Maybe that's why this entrance over here has thrown me off due to the weird way that it's built. Here, a skeleton. Do you want to spawn here? No. Okay, saw a skeleton spawn down here. That'd work. Nah. I feel like if that was to work, I would need stairs. And you know how I made that uh, crafting table? I did not realize that was it. <laughs> and there's another one also. Uh, sometimes I'm not, you know, the best at, you know, sighting out one of the blocks. Like, ah, there it is. It's already there. There we go. Finally got the right block. And turn that all into that. There we go. Put that there, put that there. And actually... That explains why this is not right. The ceiling is not right either. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna fix that right now. Too much uh, trouble. Pretty sure I was trying to keep it, you know. One, two, three. Now I'm not gonna use that as an example. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I was trying to keep it in the organized way. 
Hmm. Do I fix this entrance by moving this one block more? Wait, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It would be this block right here, and that would have to be brought up here. If it was supposed to work, there we go, because that side there is wrong, because it would be the 11th block. That's how it works, okay. Break that one second. Place that there. Break that. Break that. That can go there, that can go there. And... That should work. And now I have some for the stair here. And for the stair here, but not for the bottom. Okay, well that works out. Uh, I can also start placing down the stairs also. Wait, what? It's supposed to be one block higher. Hmm. Something's not working out here. Oh, they're supposed to surround the stairs. There's three blocks. Hmm. So that is correct right there. Is right. The bottom is four blocks. Three, four, three, four. Thing. Hmm. I got distracted by uh, doing the pillars for a second. So that'll be where the water goes, right? How deep is that over there? I think I make a, made a mistake here. That'll be where the water goes. But the stairs do not go that way. Because this is wrong. Because the stairs would go here. So this must go out one more block. There we go. Now we fixed the problem. Goes like that, break that a second. Not the stairs that I wanted. I almost used stone stairs there for a second. And that's how it becomes four. There 
There we go. That's not looking too bad, actually. Okay. Problem is trying to make this look nicer. There we go. I guess I just... No one will ever know, apart from you who are watching this video, that, you know, there was a mistake here. They won't believe you if, they, if you were... If you said the truth. I'm just joking. Okay. Well... Hopefully that looks a little bit better, right? Yeah, that's not looking too bad, actually. That is supposed to be four blocks tall. That is four blocks tall. And then five. Well, actually. It would go... Like that, yeah. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Okay. Make a little bit of extra wood to turn into sticks, so I can turn that into torches. So I can properly light up this place as I go along. Okay. The first one goes here. Of the new build. Can't wait for what this turns out to be like, huh? Eh, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, wasn't I gonna use stairs for that up there? <laughs> I was gonna use stairs for that. I totally forgot about that even existing. There we go. You know what? I could just mine out that area. Yeah, not too bad. There we go. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. How did I do the ceiling over there? I think I just made out of wood. Pretty sure I did actually just make out of wood. No, oh, wait. Yeah, I did make out of wood. I used stairs and wood. I don't really like that corner bit, but I could not really. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here like a boss fight, you know, trying to run away from the boss. Uh, okay, what else could they talk about? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something interesting that we could talk about while I'm working on this. I might actually just turn this into two parts, so I'll end it here and then we'll talk about something else after. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, have a nice day, safe from this apple, maybe even some mushrooms, and keep the vitamins, very, very important, and bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye bye!